Hi there, everybody. Fun State First Journey Coach Janice Whiting. So I think by now you've probably heard my fun and exciting news in my previous uh, video that I made executive manager. So if you have not gone to check out that video, um, I think I titled it executive manager and giveaway. Um, so make sure you go comment on there, find out my fun news, um, and you will be in uh, put in for a fun um multi-item giveaway so anyway all right but I told you that I was if you saw that video then you know that I wanted to show you how this card was made now isn't that a fun card I chose it number one because it's featuring our um, be amazing collection which is 35% off for the next three days Whoa. Um, through the end of April um, and of uh, second, because it's got these bright colors and it says be awesome today and I totally feel awesome today and I felt awesome yesterday when I found out my fun news. Um, so this card is featured on page 113 in our catalog. You're right there. I, I changed it up just a little bit. I added one more star and I did not have the Be Amazing Prince, which was so cute. Um, so I kind of improvised in this little area right here. Um, but the Be Amazing Prince are so fun and they are 35% off. So, you know, you might want to get them before it's too late. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, show you how I did this. I'm going to turn it, um, turn my camera so you can see and then we will go from there. All right, so here's my beautiful card. And let's see if you can see some of that journey glaze shine on the Be Awesome Today and also on these little wood star elements. I added that on both of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with what you need. Now you're gonna need a um, regular card base, A2 size. I did um, tent folds like I normally do, but you can do regular fold. It will work both ways. Um, and so whip, out of our whipped cream cardstock, then you are going to need some of our black licorice cardstock. And um, I say some because you are going to create this kind of background panel here and cut it at an angle. So this one you are going to first trim to the same size as a card, your card front. Um, which is four, well, let me do the lengthwise first. So five and a half. I'm not gonna use the entire piece, but um, it's good to start with the, with the right size, okay? So it's going to be four and a quarter by five and a half um, of this, okay? So we're gonna create the little slash. And I want to go ahead and do that before I bring everything else out, so just so we can get started um, with the base. So again, we're gonna be creating this kind of a diagonal cut, and it is actually quite simple. You're just gonna put a little um, dot, a little mark at the three-fourths of an inch mark from the top, and bust out my ruler here, um, right there, and I'm going to line it up with my grid paper because it just makes it so much easier. So a little mark at the three-fourths line right there. Just a little dot. And then down here, the bottom section, I believe I did um, one and three-quarters. And so just measure out to one and three-quarters and then put a little mark on the right hand side. Now the reason we're doing this is because you are then going to take your trimmer and you are going to cut at the diagonal from dot to dot. Okay, and I know you may not see the dot in my um, um, camera view, but it is there, so you can trust me. So from here I take dot one and line it up with dot two along the cutting line of the trimmer. So I've got first one here and first one here and then I'm just going to make sure I hold my paper uh, firmly and then cut up along that. And now you have that perfect diagonal. This is a scrap piece that you won't need so you can put that off to the side. Um, and this will layer nice and neatly here just like so. 
and actually we can actually go ahead and adhere that right away. There's no need to wait. So I'm going to do so using our um, Easy Glide Permanent Tape Runner. And I like to stand mine up and just kind of make sure that it's flush on both sides and obviously the top and the bottom. And then voila. Okay, so you've got, that's the very first part of your card. Now, I'm, there's other sections that we're going to cut and paste, but I wanted to go ahead and do the next thing, which is just to create the, I, I feel like it's kind of the hero, which is our stamp set, so be awesome today. And for that, you're going to need a piece of whipped cream, and your sizing is three and a quarter by one and three quarters. And that is the perfect size to fit our sentiment, which is the Be Awesome Today sentiment. And again, our hero. And it comes from this stamp set right here. It is the So Pretty. Now, we used the same stamp set the other day. We used the Amazing Today. We're going to use the Be Awesome Today um, stamp. And we're going to grab our black licorice ink, ink it up really, really well, make sure it's got a good bit on there. And then you're going to kind of um, put that nice and straight and then stamp right on top. And hopefully, again, my hair won't be in the way, but if it is, forgive me. It'll only be for a second. So line it up, press down, stamp away. Perfect. Love it. All right, now you're gonna create, create a back to it. So remember, it's kind of outlined in black. And so this is basically a piece of our black licorice that is um, a quarter of an inch um, larger in both directions. So what did I say that was? Where did I put my ruler, guys? I don't know where I put my ruler. Good thing I have quite a few of them laying around. <laughs> All right, so this, I don't remember a measurement. So it's, oh, three and um, a half and two inches. So three and a half by two inches for your black panel. Go ahead and, whoopsie, lay that down. Put it right in the center. Um, and then this will be ready to be laid on your card as well. Okay, so I've got the um, sentiment done and we've got this already. So really the next step is to introduce all of these fun, vibrant rays of light, so to speak. Um, and let me go ahead and introduce the colors you're gonna need. You're going to need some electric lime. And again, just a scrap piece, electric lime, um, a little bit of our turbo teal. You will be using some whipped cream to make this little middle stripe. Um, you'll be using a bit of our cosmic grape some of our sour lemon, and some just a little bit of a scrap of our outrageous pink, okay? Um, so um, we actually have a bundle, guys, of all of these colors and inks and ink pads, um, if you're interested um, there. So, if, or you could just buy one, you know, one pack at a time, which I think they're $6.95 for 25 sheets, which is pretty awesome. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with creating this ray. Now really, this ray um, is, is not so technical. You're just gonna grab your trimmer, have my card here. I'm gonna just turn it just a little bit. Now remember when we did the whole one inch down, however many um, inch, uh, inches from the bottom? So we can kind of do a similar type deal. And since this is my scrap, I'm just gonna kind of lay it around and just um, lay it on top and just get a, a feel for the end. So let's say that's my end. Of course, you can measure that down to five and a half. Um, and going back, go back and do the same thing you did to create that stripe. And of course, my little ruler is missing again. But basically, I, and I can use my grid here on my trimmer, mark it at the um, three fourths inch and then mark it from the bottom down at the let's see, it's five and a half two inch mark. That's one, two, I believe. 
right here, okay? So that can be your first cut from here to here. So then you can kind of get the, the right angle down. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that. Okay, so now you have the right angle. So if I put this up, you can see it's just about the right angle. So really now all I have to do is, is it's about an inch or so wide or three fourths of an inch or so wide. And really I'm just gonna start, put a little dot on the three fourths of an inch mark-ish. You know, actually it was about an inch. If I bring my card back, yeah, that was about one inch. So forgive me there. So that's one, two, three. So about an inch there and about an eighth of an inch is this little section here and now I'm going to go ahead and cut from my left dot to my right dot just like I did with that other one. Now if I were you I would use pencil and not pen like I just did because I just realized that's going to show up um, but you know what I'm going to be okay with it. Hold it firmly and trim and now you have your fun little ray super super fun and let's go ahead and bring my card panel out and I'm just going to line it up here so you can see now the only thing that I well no actually yeah it's perfect because actually I think I may want to trim it yeah I'm going to trim it when I, when I glue this down I'm going to glue it down and then trim that excess off and trim off the X. But it's perfect. I've got my ray. I'm not going to do anything with it right now. The only thing else I need with my electric line is just a little strip to go along, along the bottom of that big ray. And for that one, nothing fancy. And actually for the next few cuts, nothing fancy like I did earlier. Um, I'm just going to make these about just shy of, an, of a quarter of an inch just shy. So what is that? Three, one, two, three sixteenths or so. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that. So really just a little strip, three sixteenths or so. And then that will go across there. And from here, I'm going to cut the rest of the color. So bring out your um, turbo teal, cut that one to be about, again, about 3 16th or so. It doesn't have to be exact or perfect, to be quite honest. Um, and then a strip of our whites. And let's see here, does this one, yeah. There is no exact length necessarily. In our white, I think I did at a fourth one fourth of an inch because there is a little bit of variety in the just a little bit of variety in the sizes of your little rays coming out um, our cosmic grape um you know what just if i know something is some of y'all gonna want to want to know this piece is about five inches so i'm making my strips about five inches long uh, cosmic grape is going to go back to the 3 16th size and some sour lemon. Next sour lemon I'm going to make even smaller. And I think I made this an eighth of an inch. Fun. It, it is nice to have a little bit of variation in your, sh in your little rays. And then outrageous pink. Grab that. I only need just a tad, but this is what I got. So, and this one I believe I went back to my 3 16 Okay, so I got all of my little rays, and doesn't that look fun already? Love it, love it, love it. So exciting. These colors just make me happy. I think they would make just about anybody happy. They're just so nice and bright and fun. Now, for all of this, I used our craft glue because, you know, as you know, I'm a big fan of our craft glue. It helps to kind of shift things around. Um, you know, it doesn't dry instantaneously, but it does dry, it does dry quick enough. Um, it get, again, it allows for some shifting of your um, piece. So I'm going to go ahead, and this is definitely put at an angle. You kind of want it to be, you know, big to small on this side, or at least for this first section. Once you kind of have it where you want it, which again is the benefit to that liquid glue, if you used the tape runner, you would not be able to shift it. Okay, I like the placement there. So then I'm gonna grab my skinny um, 
what is this one called again? Electric Lime. Y'all, my memory, it does not serve me well um, that often. I mean, it does sometimes, but you know. Anyway, okay, this one, now I'm going to go from skinny to a little, um, I say skinny, so narrow to just a little bit wider down here. Again, you're just creating um, just some interest, visual interest. Okay, um, and I mean, a little too much there. <laughs> a little too much visual interest. Um, I'm gonna squish that up even more because it's really close to that line. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and smooth it down. Okay, so now for my turbo teal strip. And this one is gonna be a much greater angle. It's gonna be right, right up close on the left but then it's going to be kind of midway between that right side of the green strip and the um, bottom of the card. And did I put glue on that side? I didn't. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this end. Smooth it down. Okay. Now don't worry if you feel like it's looking wonky because the stripes are coming out the side. You're going to trim those, so don't worry. All right, grab your strip of whipped cream. Not a fun name for our white. I like it. It's fun. And this guy is going to be, I don't know, about an eighth of an inch or so from that bottom of the blue or top of the blue. And then it's going to just hit that side of the card, the bottom of the card. So fun, stripey look. Okay, from there, we're going to take our Cosmic Grape. So fun, guys, just even making this card makes me happy. Fun, bright colors. This strip, again, close up to the top, a little bit um, spread out on the bottom, so narrow to wide. I don't know how I just flipped that sour lemon across the way. <laughs> but it is next, so maybe it was ready, it was just waiting to go. So sour lemon is next, again, that thinner strip. He's going to go a little bit further down and right there. And then we have just a little bit of space for a wee bit of our outrageous pink right there on that edge and coming down. All right, so pressing firmly on that. I always, you know, whenever I use my liquid glue, I try to press, press, for, press firmly so that it can kind of have a good grip. All right, now from here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my... Uh, pro shears, my fantastic pro shears, these beauties right here. And I'm using these because they have a nice long blade. I could use my little uh, detail shears as well if I wanted to, um, and I might end up do doing so. Um, you know what? I also, I do, when I cut these, I do want to make sure that all that ad adhesive is kind of wiped off. It's never good to gunk up your beautiful scissor blades. It would be just sadness, sadness. <laughs> anyway, so I always turn it upside down to cut just because I find it easier because you can literally just cut right along the edge and see exactly what you're cutting and it'll cut flush on all sides. So cut, cut, perfect. And then this right side, you're just cutting off all that excess so that when you are done, Oh my goodness, so fun, isn't that fun? Ah, love it. Okay, so from here, now if you look on the card that is um, showcased in the catalog, again, it uses that f our fun um, Be Amazing paper, but it has like that shine, kind of neon light shine, the reflection. So to kind of give that same look, I actually um, brought out um, a Jelly Roll white pen and I literally just drew those lines on there with the Jelly Roll gel pen because it, it's white and it gave the same exact effect. Um, and so I literally did that on each stripe. And yes, I actually did look at the card to see if my stripe was going to be at the top or at the bottom. Is it in the middle? <laughs> Um, obviously, the white doesn't need it. Pink. And after 
And these, the little jelly roll does pen does require just a little bit of time to um, dry. So make try not to smear it or, you know, bring your finger or hand across it before it's dry. And then pink is my last one here. Love it. All right, so I've got my little reflection um, stripes there of my light. I have my, um, what is this called, sentiment. My next thing is to bring out one of our beautiful Journey Silks. This is our outrageous silk. Shake it up real, real good. Now you should know that our silks have a really high um, viscosity. It's not a fun word. I think I'm saying it right. Um, meaning it's, they're just kind of, they're thicker. I feel like some of these are thicker than others. And um, here I am about to put this on, but actually, y'all, you just cannot trust me. I actually wanted to put this on first because I um, actually want some of that splatter to be on top of the sentiment as well. That is part of the look. Or so whoever this designer, the designer did. You know, it would be really cool. I guess it's too late for this next coming, um, uh, what am I trying to say, next coming catalog, but it would be cool if they had the names of the people who designed these. That would be fun to know. Give them a little bit of a shout out because they're so cute. Sorry for my her. Okay, there we go. It is now adhered, and I did use our um, foam squares for that. So, okay, so I put the little, sorry about that, my card um, got full or something, I had to switch it out. Anyway, I did put, pop this up with our Journey Foam Squares there, all right. Okay, so from there, now we can bring out our um, Journey Silks. Now that is in outrageous pink. So we do have, sorry for the shaking, we do have our silks in all of our Be Amazing colors, so this is fun. You're gonna take this, and what I was saying earlier was, I'm not sure if it caught it on um, the card or not, was that these have a kind of a high viscosity, so they're a little thicker than some of our like metal ones, so you might have bigger splatters, so just gonna keep that in mind. And I just like to kind of go to town with these because it's such a fun card. Definitely provide a splatter sheet, but look at that. So, so fun. Now, because they're a little thicker, I actually do like to bring out my heating gun. I mean, you don't need it if you just want to kind of keep it, let it set for a while, but I like to bring it out just for the sake of making sure that it's dry. And I will just heat this up maybe for like, I don't know, 30 to 60 seconds. You can actually see it drying over a period of time. I'm gonna give it just a few more seconds. Again, you don't have to have the heat gun. You can just let it dry um, as it will on its own, but because I want to go ahead and keep working with this today, I'm gonna go ahead and, there we go. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so that's mostly dry. See, there's a little bit of an area here that might still be wet, but that's okay. It works for me. So fun. Okay, so I'm gonna take out my splatter page, leave my card there, and now we're ready to add the fun last bit of this card, which is, or which are, these fun wooden star elements. Um, so these little guys are so fun, you can add them to just about anything, but we are gonna do something cool with these, um, which is to paint them using our Journey Silks, because you may not know, but you can use our Journey Silks like paint, which is because it is, it kind of is, it is paint, okay? Uh, but before we do, I actually take these and I glue them down first. And um, just because I would like the drying time to be on the card and not just set aside. So I'm using my craft glue, as you can see, and adhering this little guy first, right there on the corner. Now again, our craft glue is amazing for this because it is so thick, it will um, kind of hold items a lot more easily than 
a thinner glue. It's This is not your Elmer's glue, okay? Yeah, I know I've said that multiple times. I just want you to get it. It's nice and thick and it holds things in place. So if you notice, especially right up here, I am gonna be just laying a little bit of this star in place. Like most of the star is off the card, but because the glue is so nice and thick, it will hold it in place. I don't know if you can see that but it is holding it in place just by putting a little bit of glue right there on the end. Now, I'm blowing it a little bit so that gravity doesn't take over, but really, um, I didn't have to do that for too long before it just kind of held it perfectly in place. So anyway, another little plug for my craft glue. If you don't have any, definitely recommend it. All right, and then this one is easy peasy because it's just going on the um, card itself flat um, right in between these two little prongs of the star right there. So I did change up the original um, design just a wee bit because you know groups of three are nice to see. All right, so from there we're gonna take our cosmic grape, shake it up, make sure you hear that ball rolling around and you've got that metallic kind of spread around, metallic sediments. And now you're going to have a ball painting your star, bringing it to life. Um, I just splattered a little bit of the purple on the card, but that is okay because that's kind of the look of the card. These colors, these little silks are so vibrant, guys. They're, they are very, very thick, very opaque, vibrant and beautiful cosmic grape. Got to love it. Next one here, I'm gonna bring out our um, sour lemon. Now, um, I think I've said this before, but if you ever get one of our silks and you buy it and it's awesome and then you put it away and then it's a little while before you take it out again, if you don't hear the ball rolling around, that means it's kind of um, thickened up a little bit and needs a good shake. Shake it up really well until you, until you hear the ball. If you aren't hearing the ball, it might be because it's stuck to the bottom. And really, if you just grab a toothpick or something um, thin like that, twirl it around, swirl it around the bottom of the container, or excuse me, of the jar, and loosen up the ball, it will loosen up and it'll work right away again. So there are just some tips for you if you've never used our silks before. And then last bit here on the bottom or on the card itself um, down below we're going to use our outrageous pink super fun guys if you get these you're just going to notice it's a really nice um, thickness to it it just it's really nice it is not even though they are water soluble um, they have a really nice pigment concentration to them and I really enjoy painting with them there we go okay guys that right there is kind of like almost our last step, the very last step, is to bring out some of our fantastic journey glaze. And you are going to glaze around the sentiment, which is the be amazing, or not be amazing, be awesome. Okay, I tried to kind of skip over. If you um, don't wait till your Silk is dry, just be careful because it will, um, if this touches any wet silk, it will um, bleed out a little bit. Ask me how I know. <laughs> but I did dry those with my heating gun, so I think we're good. And then the E. And then the T. Guys, if you've not used our um, awesome Journey Glaze, I have a few little containers of samples. I will send you one if you want, just let me know. Because I think once you try it, you will want a jar for yourself. I'm not kidding. It's not because I sell it. It's really probably the best. It's kind of like a glazed resin, resin mixture. Dries clear, doesn't crack. You just use it as an adhesive, use it as a um, embellishment, uh, what if I say enamel. Um, kind of creator. All right, I've got my letters done and I'm gonna do my silks, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of, I'm just gonna heap my silk stars up a little bit. Get them prepped and ready. 
just because I don't want anything to kind of smear over. I don't think it will, but I'm just being cautious. All right, just a few seconds, and let me see if that looks, yes, that looks a lot less glossy. And let's go for it. So you're going to go ahead and just outline each little section of each star. And so all of a sudden, your wooden star elements have become like a nice enamel, 3D enamel star, which is super cool. And it gives a really fun effect to your card. It makes it even more awesome than what they already were. Yes, I'm using that word on purpose. Okay, last little bit. And then we are going to call this guy done. Beautiful.